Hey, White here, and in this video, I'm going to show you essentially how you can automate your lead flow, bring in qualified leads for client SEO in your business almost on autopilot. Once you set up these processes, you can have them running 24 7 in the background thanks to outsourcers, and I'm going to show you how to hire those outsourcers in a second. But you can get these running and you should always have them running to be bringing in leads. You want to keep your pipeline full. If you're in the game of client SEO, that means you're in the game of selling. And in order to sell, you need leads. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this quick video. So like I said, there are two methods. Both of them are completely free. So if you got started right after this video, you could do them yourself and start bringing in leads. But what I recommend that you do is that you outsource this stuff because these are simple methods. Do it yourself first just so you can see how it works. And then once you have a hang of it, which will only take you 15, 30 minutes, go hire these outsourcers. Go hire one or two of them and have them do these methods literally full time all day and you will start to see how many leads you actually get for your client SEO business. This is what most of you are missing, leads. You don't have enough leads, you don't have enough people to sell your SEO to. So I'm gonna show you a brief overview of how to hire freelancers on Upwork. So we're gonna dive into that, I'm gonna show you my methods. I've hired lots and lots of people uh, for different companies. So I'm gonna show you the process that I go through, the interview process and stuff like that to hire those freelancers. It will be a quick overview, uh, but it should really help you. So again, we're gonna cover those two methods and then I'm gonna show you also how to hire freelancers. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right guys, so what we're gonna do here is jump into the page two method. So a lot of you guys have seen this uh, and the next one we're going to jump into is the review method, um, which, you know, a lot of you guys probably haven't seen. Um, but this page two method can be so effective. If you don't have it running with an outsourcer right now, you need to get this going. So the way it works is super simple. Um, the name is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. All we're going to do is go to Google. And I also like to have a, a document open on Google Drive for my outsourcers uh, or for myself. And I'll go to Google and we're going to pick a niche and a location. You can do this for any niche, any location. So I'm going to do Dentist Tampa. All you do is go down, go to page two. Very, very simple. You can see I've already went through this, actually recorded, but the audio wasn't working, so I'm redoing it. Um, but you go through here and you look for businesses, dentists rather, that are stuck on page two. All you're going to do is click on them. See if you can find out the name of the person who owns this. If not, you just go to the Contact Us page and look for their email. So I don't see a name here. All I'm gonna do is take the email and what your outsourcer is gonna do, you're essentially on this drive, you're gonna to wanna to have a lot of niches and cities laid out. They're just gonna paste that email to be able to contact later. This is a business, a dentist in Tampa that is stuck on page two. So what I could do here is have literally like the top 300 cities combined with dentist and that is like, you know, 300, um, searches that we can make and we can literally get like five leads per um, or potential prospects per um, city plus location I mean city plus niche so you can even go like on Google and search for top US cities and you can see here that I have like I can get the top 200 and boom that's easy 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 and then there are so many different niches hundreds of different niches that you can use so that's you know thousands and thousands and thousands of potential um, searches so this is endless uh, so basically, we're going to keep going through and I'm going to go to the next one. And so we can see here the name of this person is Sarah Jockin. That's important. Anytime we can get the name, it's going to help us boost that response conversion. So what I'm going to do is copy this email. And uh, it's, so it's Dr. Sarah Jockin. So I'm just going to come in here, paste that email and go Dr. Sarah Jockin. If you can't, if they don't have the email, but they have like a contact form, then just, you know, copy the URL of the contact page. Then we're going to go here. And this is what your outsourcer would be doing. Essentially, they'd just be going through here and building this list. Eventually, they're going to go back and contact all these people. Or if you have two outsourcers working, the second outsourcer can be going through and contacting uh, while you're or while the first outsourcer is getting the potential prospects. So this person um, is Horton, Nancy Horton. So I don't see an email, but we do have a, a form here. So I'll just grab this URL, paste it. And we'll go Nancy Horton. So just like that, you know, we're building up these potential prospects. Super easy. Uh, you know, a $4, $5 outsourcer can be getting hundreds of these in an hour. So it's very, very effective. Now, when they go back and contact these people, 
essentially what you're going to do is send them a script or your outsource you're going to give your outsourcer a script to use um, to send these people and I'm actually going to leave this script that I use below in the share to unlock section so if you click the button below share to unlock you'll get the script that I use but it's very simple we're just reaching out and saying hey notice you're stuck on page two for dentist Tampa which is a really big keyword obviously for your business um, my business you know we do SEO and we can get your site up to page one for this keyword and you know honestly you don't even have to pay us until uh, we get it up to page one for you and then it'll just be $99 essentially what this is is a tripwire offer it's a very very low price high value offer and it's allowing you to get your foot in the door get that first paycheck and they start to trust you you deliver results and then you can easily upsell them in your client consulting services so again I'll leave that script that I use below in the share to unlock section but this is the method super easy any outsourcer can grasp this you know create a video or even give them this video so that they can get the instructions of how to do it, have them build out these Google Docs and go reply to all these people, and that's it. You know, Give them a shared inbox that you guys can use so that you can see them, make sure they're not doing anything wrong, and that's, that's the extent of it. All right, so the second method is the review method, and uh, this is something you know, that doesn't require you to do SEO to you know, get that initial uh, customer. So, you know, you don't have to be dependent on being able to get them results. So some of you guys may like this better. They both work, you know, use both of them. It's a great way to get lead uh, lead flow into your business. So all we're going to do is go to Yelp and come up here in our location. So we'll do Tampa and we'll stick to the same niche. So we'll go dentist. And I'm just going to look for a dentist in this area with basically bad reviews. So at least three stars or less. So I'm going to go through here. So this, perfect, they have two and a half stars. So, you know, this is a great opportunity to come in as a reputation management slash SEO company and be able to, you know, offer the ability to help them out and uh, fix their review profile and say, you know, it's really hurting you and you need to get this fixed, basically. So same concept, you know, we're going to be able to reach out to this company in a little bit, you know, create a Google Doc file. Um, for the the review method same thing you can almost copy this doc put it in a new file um, you know niche location very simple and so you're going to come through here and so you can see let's look at their reviews basically yelp is basing their overall review on recommended reviews it's really weird how their you know their site works but they're not really taking into account um these other reviews so if you can click on this it's like in light gray it says five other reviews are not currently recommended so these reviews aren't really being looked at now these almost look like fake reviews so that's probably why um but you know a lot of companies you'll come down here and click on this and it'll say like 26 reviews or something and so yelp is really working hard to only showcase like real good reviews um but you can still game the system what happens is if you can push up a five star to the recommended reviews it's going to boost up that overall and sometimes you can even get these like one star ones removed and that's even the easier way to do it so essentially there there are two sides to the story first of all how do we contact this person this business second of all how do we deliver and um, you know help out their rating profile so to be able to contact them very easy um, actually we have their contact info right here so message the business what i would probably do is just go to their website here um, and again find their contact page have your outsourcer do this go through uh let's see if they have a contact page yeah we got an email right here and we have the name of the person right there so all i would do i don't have a new doc file but let's say dentist tampa review method and we're just going to paste their email and the name of this person is doctor don't know how to say that name going to copy it and paste it in there so really really simple same concept, getting the contact information and the name. And I don't uh, have a script for you guys on this one because you're gonna wanna customize it for each business um, more so than for the page two method. The page two method is simple because everybody that you're contacting is stuck on page two. They all have the same problem. So here, in order to get a good response, what you're gonna want your outsourcer to do is to point out like a, one specific review. So like, you know, I looked at your Yelp profile. I saw, you know, Jason, Laura, and David, they all left you one-star reviews. It's really hurting your business. You know, you have two and a half stars. So, you know, a lot of people obviously today are looking at Yelp and these reviews to decide where they're going to go to get dental work done. You know, 
relate to their niche essentially um and you can say like what my business does we focus on reputation management and seo and we can actually get these one star ratings removed from yelp um Instead of saying like you're just going to get them five star reviews, it's better to say you can get them removed because it's almost like you have authority with Yelp rather than just someone who buys fake reviews. Um, and then the way that you're going to do once they say yes, I'll do that, or you know, you're going to price it very cheap. It's again a trip art offer, so fifty bucks, ninety nine dollars, whatever that may be. So you're going to come through, and what you need to do at that point is either hire outsourcers, or there are gigs on Fiverr, or there are these like um, minute worker sites. I think it's actually called Minute Worker, and you can post these jobs where they get paid like twenty cents. Microworkers.com, and they get paid like twenty cents or thirty cents, whatever you set it to, to do one specific little thing. So what you would do is create the job like, hey, I need you to vote down. Uh, or report rather Jason H's review for this business. You link them to this, um, or show them how to do it by going to Yelp.com, searching Dentist Tampa. They get here, and all they have to do is click this report review button, drop it down, select one of these. Um, so you could say something like, "It was posted by a competitor X employee." Right, have them write it. You can even give them the script to use for this. Have them adjust it or whatever. Uh, it's better if each one is different, obviously. And boom, they report it and they make thirty cents. So it takes them literally all of 20, 30 seconds, and they make you know fifty cents, forty cents, whatever you have it set to. And so that way, if you report these enough, it'll be removed from here. The other way to do it would be again to buy reviews from Fiverr, some other sites, but you know, make sure you're getting a quality provider, someone who's leaving these reviews from actually good accounts, you know, someone with lots of reviews and lots of friends. Otherwise, they're not going to show up. They're literally just going to be stuffed down here on um, the reviews that Yelp isn't counting towards the overall ratings. So you want to be careful with that. But that's the method. It's very easy. You can get a ton of leads. There are tons of businesses that have bad reviews and they know it and they know they need help. So it's a great way to get your foot in the door and get started there. And obviously, obviously both of these are very simple to teach to outsourcers. So with that being said, let's go ahead and shift to that. We're going to shift to Upwork and I'm going to show you how you guys can find these uh, freelancers to hire. But it's, you know, it's very simple. Okay, guys. So I'm here on Upwork.com. Um, you know, basically Elance and Odesk. These were the sites before they combined. Now it's Upwork.com. And I'm just going to give you a quick overview because this stuff is simple, um, but you can get in-depth. And obviously, the more, um, you know, the when you're trying to hire freelancers with specific talents, that's when it becomes harder. And we're actually going to be creating an action map inside of Dripcore soon for how to be able to find those people because um, there's a lot more to it, especially with the interview process. But here, you know, it's fairly simple because you're just hiring people that are somewhat competent and can follow your instructions um, because this is really a simple, very repetitive task. You just want to make sure you find someone that's not going to screw you over. So that's what I want to help you out with here. So you're going to create an Upwork account, put your payment information in there. You're going to come down here and select a category. Um, so here, all it's going to be is like basically data input. So um, admin support, maybe. No. Let's see. Yeah, so I would just come down here and put admin support, drop it down, data entry, personal assistant, either of those would work fine, web research, let's do that. So admin support, web research, you're just going to come down here and name the job. So if we're doing it for the page two method, um, basically, you know, gather potential websites in a list, simple repetitive <laughs> and long term. So something like that, you don't have to get very detailed, but then go ahead and describe essentially what they're going to have to do. Um, you can even if you created a video for showing them how to do this, you could even post that in here and make sure they watch it before they apply. Like I would always say something like, please make sure you watch this video and understand it before you apply. And then let me know in the cover letter when you do apply that you've watched it and you understand. The other thing that I like to do somewhere in this description at the bottom, usually not at the very bottom, but somewhere, um, you know, towards the bottom is put some stars and say for the qual for the question when you apply, this is the one I like to use, you know, obviously change it up, make it different, but I'll show you why I like to do this in a second. So I'll say, you know, for the question, when you apply, 
answer with 10 10 that's what i always do you know obviously change it up don't use the same thing but then i'll come down here to freelancer preferences and screening questions and i'll make one of the questions here what is 10 plus 10. now here's what's going to happen um, basically on upwork a lot of people are going out there and spamming these, their applications. They're just trying to get out as many applications as they possibly can. Usually a lot of these people are from India. They don't know what they're doing. They're literally just trying to get hired and get paid. So we want to filter those people out. The best way to do that is put what is 10 plus 10. When they're filling out these job applications super fast, they're going to be like, oh, they're just trying to see if I'm competent. I got these guys and they're going to put 20 or something like that. Uh, they're going to put the right answer. And you know, obviously you know at that point that they did not read your job post and they did not watch the video or whatever you had them do. So here, you know, if they answer with 1010, that means they actually took the time to read your post. That's gonna literally give you the, the top 10% of freelancers right there. It's a secret that I always use um, and it allows me to save a ton of time interviewing because I know I'm already starting out with somewhat qualified freelancers. So add your qualifications in here, you know, putting the certain hours more than 30 hours a week, we could say, you know, position will last one to three months, however long it's gonna last, and who you're looking for. So you could either do intermediate. For this, really, you should be able to pay less than $5 an hour. So I'm gonna go entry level, pay by the hour. What skills do they need? Nothing really. Data entry um, is fine. And, you know, they're gonna be doing this at a human pace, so they shouldn't have any problems getting blocked by Google or whatever. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, that's why you're not going to be using a software for this because then you get into the whole thing of using proxies and figuring out how to create a scraping software and it's just kind of a pain. I'd rather pay someone $4 an hour or multiple people $4 an hour and they're just going to bring in endless leads uh, for my business. And obviously, then they have the human touch. They're able to customize these emails a little bit. And so that's why you want to find someone with good English skills. So make sure you're interviewing these people. When you get a few people that you really like, tell them, add you on Skype, get on a call with them and actually discuss with them. Make sure they're competent, make sure they're able to understand English and send off these emails. So again, guys, uh, for that first method, I'm gonna include the script below in the share to unlock section. Make sure you're using that, it works very well. But for both of these methods, you can get a really high response rate and it's just a great way to get endless leads uh, for your client SEO business. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more training like this, obviously you can join Dripcore. Um, I'll leave a link for that below. And we do webinars like this, have action maps, you know, the Facebook group if you have questions, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so if you're not in Dripcore, get in there, it's worth it. Uh, and with that being said, I will see you next time.